All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna go through the tutorial stages for the Bezier game. The link to it is gonna be below. It's bezier.method.ac. So the first one, I'm gonna zoom in just to show you guys exactly what section. The first one's just showing you how to use the tool and click, and it will let you create a straight line. And then you click again Whatever you do, don't click and drag. Just click, move your cursor over, and then click. That's the first one. The second one here, it's teaching you what the shift key does. So I'm gonna click on that first point. Notice I'm not holding shift right now, so I could do any angle I want, but if I hold shift, I could go from 45 to, oh, 45 is here, 45 degree angle, to a 90 degree angle. So it constrains my lines to only be 45 or 90 degrees. So I'm holding shift and I click, hold shift and click, hold shift, and then the last one. All right, and this is the last section of the tutorial. It's drawing us, actually there's maybe one more, there's the heart. But in the circle, it's teaching you about handles. So with handles, these are handles right here, the ones that that have the, the ball at the end of it. So there's four points, and these are called anchor points. One, two, three, four. Now, it, in the Bezier game, they're called nodes, but in Illustrator, they're called anchor points. And then these are handles right here. So the first thing it said to create a point, so click, and then you hold it, you don't let it go, and you drag it. And I'm always dragging in the direction that I wanna go in. Like right now, I wanna go up, and to the right, so I'm going up when I'm dragging. Now I'm going to go to the right, so I'm going to click on the point. I'm going to drag it to the right. I'm going to click and drag down because I want to go down. But let me show you what would happen if I actually tried to drag it in the other direction. Does it line up? Yes. But look at what happens to the line. It's basically being controlled by the handle on the bottom. So I know that I have to pull this down. This one is click and drag to the left. And then the last one, because those handles and these handles are created already, I can just click right there. So the more practice you get with handles, and especially with like a lot of these, these tutorial sections here, like it's gonna show you how, how to use shift, option, and this is just clicking it and dragging with handles. But the more you use them, the more you get used to like what they do and how to control them. So I'm just gonna click to finish this off. There you go, and this is the last one actually. So holding Alt, or for us it would be Option on a Mac. So I'm clicking and dragging to the right. The reason for that again, I wanna go to the right. So click and drag, and there you go. Your handle matches up right there on the left, your top left. When it matches up, then you hold Option, and you can now manage this handle by itself. You're not bothering that. There you go. And now this one I'm gonna drag to the left. Click and drag to the left. When that aligns there on the right, I hold Option to move this separately, and I can put it back. And because these two handles are created already, all I have to do is click here, and then I'm done.